Greg, uh, wheelchair race coordinator for Bloomsday, um, and we'll kick things off now and get things moving. Um, great to see everybody. Great to see the sun shining outside and some warm weather. There's people in shorts, Don Cardong's in shorts, and uh, I always make it a tradition every year to make sure our athletes thank Don Cardong, and uh, just uh, always a reminder that we wouldn't be here at this event without Don and his vision for it. So really appreciate uh, all Don has done. Uh, in the past with this event and being a really early adopter with the wheelchair race division uh, from a from a major race perspective in the country since 1982 is when uh, this uh, division started um, from our wheelchair race standpoint to get right into it uh, we have a smaller crew this year uh, but no less formidable uh, our top top athlete here again is uh, Susanna Scaroni from Tico she just came off her first ever Boston Marathon win and, uh, and she was fourth at the London Marathon, which separating first to fourth place was a matter of seven seconds at the end of that marathon. So very highly competitive field. She's arguably one of the top best female wheelchair racers in the world at the moment. And uh, she'll be back to Bloomsday. She's our course record holder. Um, and on the women's side as well, we've got two uh, Parasports Spokane alumnus. Uh, we got Hannah Dietrich coming back from uh, University of Illinois to race. She's a Paralympian from Tokyo in 2020. And then um, a athlete from Parasports Spokane who's a senior in high school this year and graduating off to play wheelchair basketball at the University of Alabama next year, Olivia Flock. Those are our top three females. On the men's side this year, uh, we've got our top male is uh, Herman Garrick. He's 33 year old from uh, New York. And uh, this is his fifth Bloomsday. He's shooting for his first title here. But we've also got a couple young athletes up and coming. 19-year-old Evan Carell, who just finished ninth place at the London Marathon, um, a University of Illinois athlete, and his teammate Jason Robinson as well. Um, he's a 20-year-old, um, part of that youth movement coming out of the University of Illinois. Um, Parasport alumni Philip Croft will also be back here for his fifth uh, Bloomsday um, start. Santiago Sands will be back. He's a veteran on the quad uh, division. Uh, he's won this 13 times already. Um, so he's just super excited. He's our first athlete to arrive to this evening, actually. And uh, just a, a quick uh, note, local athlete Tyler Byers is racing his 25th Bloomsday this year on his 41st birthday. So uh, he's always excited when Bloomsday falls the on the seventh in that time frame because he always gets to share his birthday with this event that's been massive in his life. He really uh, does a great job with it. And uh, yeah, super stoked to see things get going on on Sunday. Uh, really excited to see the athletes starting to come in the next few days. And uh, just great to share the podium with Andy and uh, be able to kick things off for, for Bloomsday yet again. So Andy. Um. I'd like to begin by recognizing how great it feels to be back. Um, this board is beyond excited to be putting on this race. Uh, God has blessed us with some great weather, right? So uh, registrations are rising, and uh, we'd love to see the people of Spokane on the streets. Um, this is my second year running the elite field, uh, third year putting one together. Uh, I organized a race in 2019, and COVID kind of came around, if you remember that. Um, so, Sunday's going to mark the 47th running of the Lilac Blooms Day run, and as my predecessors have done before me, I'm really thrilled to announce some of the world's best athletes will be back on the streets of Spokane. Last year, we had some difficulties getting visas um, for our international elite athletes, and while it was tough to fill the field last year, uh, this year, everybody wants to come to Blooms Day. Uh, if you didn't run Boston and you're an elite athlete, like, you were in my inbox uh, trying to get entry. Um, and so with that being said, the field is really deep this year. Um, so don't be surprised if there's a high bib number out front. Um, but I do love our favorites. Um, Bloomsday's also really happy to announce that once again, we are one of the four races in the pro circuit. Uh, this takes us from three races to four races, uh, as we're really happy to announced that Bix um, in Iowa is joining the circuit. Um, we're so happy to have them join the list of America's iconic road races, um, which also includes Cherry Blossom in Washington, D.C., and then uh, Boilermaker in New Utica, New York. Um, it's an alliance of elite road races that promotes clean sport, elite level 
at the elite level and offers more than 275,000 in prize money. Uh, Bloomsday's Don Cardong remains the president of PRO um, and one of its founding members. So without any delay, um, let's introduce our women's elite distance runners. Uh, wearing bib number one will be what I affectionately call the princess of Bloomsday. She is a 2015 and 2016 women's champion. She is your course record holder. She took a little bit of time off to be a mom, but rest assured she is back. Um, Cynthia Limo just ran last week the fastest ever 10 mile time on American soil. And Cynthia will be very tough to beat. We're very happy to have her back. We're also um, very excited to welcome for the first time Kira D'Amato. She recently lost her American record in the marathon of two hours and 19 minutes. I met Kira at the Chicago Marathon and I have been shamelessly filling her Instagram, um, asking her to come. And uh, I even had my daughter make a video and posted it to her site. Um, and so we're just we're thrilled that she's coming. She's gonna make a really great attempt at winning this race. Um, turning to the men, um, there's a chance we'll have a new champion crown this year with the depth of, with the depth of the field. Uh, but they're going to have to earn it, and they're going to have to go through uh, 2018 champion Yamal Yimmer. This is his first return to Bloomsday since donning the lilac wreath, and since then he's been screwing around, setting the African marathon uh, half marathon world record, and placing third at the Boston Marathon. We also have an American runner with their eye on the trophy. Uh, if you were on the truck last year, you remember former Portland Pilot standout Reed Buchanan rounded the corner of Broadway in the lead. Um, and he was just run down at the very end by last year's champion. Um, I've spoken with Reed, and his whole year is based around winning this race. Uh, and he says he's faster than ever, so I'm excited to see how he does. Uh, with that, if you'd like to help yourself to the elite athlete bios, I have them on the back table there. Um, if you would like results the same time I received them, um, electronically, uh, please share your email address with me and I'll place you on the master list of recipients. And then um, we have the Saturday media brunch, um, which is the um, tech meeting. Um, so if you'd like to interview athletes, uh, that's a great time to do it Saturday morning at 1030 here on the second floor. Uh, we're confirming 1030, yeah. Um, and then the awards ceremony, we're going to do that post race um, on the Monroe Street Bridge right on the span there. Uh, we're going to do that at 9.45. Uh, last year, we had a little bit of trouble wrangling athletes as they wanted to do their cool downs, but I'm going to really stress it in our meeting this year uh, that we get to the bridge at 9.45 for photos and then send them on their way. Um, please make sure you're signed up to ride the press truck. Um, we're just we're doing some math on spot availability. so. Um, Anybody who wants to ride that truck, if you could be signed up by today, that would be great. And we'll get you your press credentials. And then, um, I think lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your attendance. Um, the media coverage and support you guys give is a major reason why this event is so successful. Um, and so, just on behalf of the board of directors and the thousands of volunteers, the tens of thousands of runners who hit the road, um, thank you to the media. Um, and then afterwards, David and I are going to do questions. Uh, I think Bethany is available for questions as well. Uh, get all your guys' questions answered, unless anybody has any general questions. All right, thanks, guys.